Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the case of our computer here. So what we have is this is the bottom, it has the feet on it, you can see the big feet. Uh, this is the top, you can see it has the window and it has the uh, screw heads on top. These are the two sides, right? they're two pieces, <coughs> the front and the back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to do this as quickly as possible. Uh, now you may find that you have better ways to do this. Okay, notice that on the sides here, I'm just going to go ahead and cover up the tabs. Here, notice that one side has that big tab. Uh, now notice that I'm doing this very quickly, so if you did this very carefully and slowly, uh, yours would certainly turn out better than mine. Uh, okay, so we got our one side taped up. And in the interest of the time on the video, I'm also doing this very quickly, so. Side number two here. Okay, we're also going to go ahead and fold in our tabs on the sides and get those ready to go. Okay, so there's our tabs. And the tabs on the second side. Now what I've noticed is, is that really the, the easiest way to do all this is to attach things to the bottom first and then build up. Um, so that in my opinion is the easiest way to do it. Okay, so we have our, our sides built here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put those aside. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our bottom. is important to line these up pretty pretty specifically. So um, let me go ahead and get that. And the more tape, the better. Remember, you know, it's better to use thicker paper on this, but uh, you know, the, the fact of the matter is that most people just have copier paper. So that's what I'm using here. Uh, and uh, if you use a color printer, of course, there is a color version. If you use a color printer, it's going to look just that much nicer. But then again, let's be honest, most of us just have a Xerox or a black and white printer, so that's what I'm using here. Um, okay, so we got our sides and our back, and our bottom, I mean. Okay, so now this, this little black bar in front is supposed to be the front. So that's where we're going to go ahead and put the front on. So here's our front. Okay, no taping necessary there. We're just going to fold the tabs back. back on this side. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just tape it on just like this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tape this up. And notice this is the back of the, the bottom and the back of the uh, front being taped on here. Okay, so now that's going to flip up just like that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the back. Okay, so notice this is my back. This is where the um, different components are going to go, um, which you'll see in the next videos. Okay, so we have uh, tabs on the side here. Now, are there better ways to fold this than what I'm doing? Absolutely. Uh, you can use a straight edge to fold these tabs. It would be much, much, much better. Uh, notice I'm just showing you kind of how the pieces fit together here. We're not going to go for super high quality in these videos. Uh, we're just going to go for uh, kind of a quick and dirty assembly here. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to uh, just tape up this tab here. All right. And once again, the more tape, the better in general. Okay, so we have our front and our back kind of ready to go. We're going to go ahead and add the sides. Um, now the side, the tab sides actually go down onto the back itself, or onto the bottom itself. Uh, there are two tabs. Okay, so we're going to get everything attached to the bottom first. Okay. And it really doesn't matter what which direction these go. In the, the there are black bars on the front. Uh, so if you want everything to look absolutely perfect, 
uh, you can make sure the front of the side case goes on the front. Um, I suggest making everything look good. You know, if you make reduce your little mistakes all the way through at the end, you're going to have a, a much nicer looking project than if you make a lot of little mistakes. So, okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and fold this up to make our case. Uh, this is where the taping gets a little bit tricky. Uh, just going to go ahead and fold this up. You want to um, just make sure your corners align kind of properly there. Uh, I'm a fan of just putting one piece of tape in on each side first and then coming back afterwards with uh, and kind of straightening things up. Um, notice that your folds might have gone a little bit on you there. Um, so break my own rule right after saying it by putting another piece of tape right there. Okay, so we got our two sides on and we're gonna go for our third side or fourth fourth side here. And there we go. So that is basically our case. Um, let me just get the last little bit here on here. For some reason, one side's always more difficult than the other. That's why. Okay, so that is a basically our case. Now you'll notice when I turn this around here, and I've got a little bit more taping to do just to reinforce some things here. But for the video purposes, that is our case. Okay, so we have our back and our front. Of course, this is our CD bay. It's going to be our power supply. It's going to be the the ports from the motherboard are going to show through here, and then this is going to be our video card here. Okay, uh, we are going to go ahead and add a top uh, just just later on. We don't need that yet, so we're not going to build it yet. Um, but that's about it. Good luck.